Okay, so a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, a friend of mine asked me, he's been asking me to uh, show him some things on the GPS, and he really, he really hasn't had that much time with it at all, so I started from scratch, kind of on the basics, and I had originally told him to go check out my video, uh, some of the videos that I initially made for myself, just you know, as I was learning, because I nobody really taught me a whole lot on this thing. Um, so I would make videos early on and put them on my little YouTube channel just so I could kind of, it was more for a, so I could reference back to them. <clears throat> but, uh, since then, uh, I haven't, I, I told him to go to the videos and I didn't really, I didn't realize how old the videos were and I haven't done videos in a long time. <laughs> and so I thought that I would make some on the new tablet. And this one I'm using here, somebody's talking out there, uh, this one I'm using the emulator from uh, Siteworks, or Trimble Siteworks. So some things are a little bit different. Uh, you might notice some little differences in it. And there are some little quirks here and there. But on this video, so I thought, I thought, well, okay, I'm just going to make, uh, I'm going to make a series of videos. I'll try to keep them fairly short. Uh, they'll probably be around 15 minutes, I, I suspect. But, and I'm, <clears throat> I might not go in order. I'm probably just going to jump around at random and do some, um, just whatever, just things that I know how to do or, you know, they may or not, may not be right. Uh, you might find better ways of doing them. This is just how I've learned to do different things on there. So I'm just going to start off with this one, just doing the, um, it, this one is just strictly setting up for um, just making a new work order basically when you first start out okay and you probably know how to check in and everything you check in on your control point I usually keep it at 15 seconds no longer than 20 seconds if it's going to check in it checks in if it don't you need to do something different but try to always check in no matter what I think it's just a good practice okay so we'll accept that and we'll just go out of here and that'll put me in here. Um, I think I made another video on how to adjust these screens, what you see, what you don't, uh, or, you know, what I don't like to see, what I don't use, things like that. Some some of those might come in handy for you. Uh, you can check those out. But, so, if, when you're first starting out, I have actually run across uh, a couple guys that I used to work with that are now doing this sort of thing. And they're not using... They just use the same work order every single day. They don't create anything different. This is how you would create it. <clears throat> Go to Project Setup, Change Project. Now, the best way to understand this, if you don't already, is this is your set of plans that you're given to you when you go out on the job. So this one is never going to change as long as you're on the same job. There's no need to change this. Now, what you see under these arrows is basically what's stored on your system, and then the plus symbols, that's how you make, uh, you know, a new project or a new work order, a new design. So if you're just selecting one that you have, you know, obviously you pick from here. If you want to make a new one, then you want to pick from here. So you can view this as basically they give you a set of plans and say you went out and you did potholing or <clears throat> um, layouts or, you know, whatever you were doing, uh, and you put Sharpie marker or, or I mean, sorry, highlighter marker, or, you know, and everything all over it. And you got a whole bunch of information, but now you want a sh uh, fresh sheet of uh, plans. And, you know, another uh, nice blank slate that doesn't have any of your garbage on it. So you keep that work order in your library and you just ask for a new copy. And so you're just basically getting a new copy of the plans. So like if I was going to do lime treating, uh, you know, for the day. It's very important you put the date first, um, 7-27, and then, so do, do always do year, month, day. It just works out better. One of the guys taught me that, uh, or, you know, told me to do it that way, and it's worked out really well since. And then just do whatever you're going to do, um, lime topo or something. Make sure you put in the description uh, a really good description of what you did. That's always a good thing. 
Now, I think I just created this one a minute ago, so I'm not going to create it because the only thing it's going to do is take me to this back to this other screen anyway. So I would accept that once I put my instructions in there of what I was doing on this particular work order. Um, let me go back at it. So if I if I were to accept that, it would take me right back to here, but it would just have see see I see I, I named it Lime Treat or Lime Area One. So now it, it would ask me for a um, uh, design. Now <clears throat> when it brought me back to this screen, that's exactly what it would look like right there. You don't have to put in a design. You can always drop in a design later on when you select that uh, any work order you select. You can attach whatever designs you have to it, but it's always best to make sure you put the, your most current design in there. Those are going to reflect any changes that you have on the in the model or on the new plans. So once you do that, then you'll accept it, and then you'll it'll basically do the same exact thing. It'll go into it. But that's pretty much it. I mean, that's uh, that's that's how you create a new work order, and you know you might, depending on what you're doing during the day, you might have to go back and forth between different work orders. You could pick. Uh, I think. Let me see. Let me see if I can find the Saint Francis one. This was just one I made to. Uh, keep track of all the electrical conduits and stuff that St. Francis was putting in. You'll notice on this one it'll say version 4. So it's been a long time since I've been in there now that I'm on version 8. Uh, if I were to go back into that and add some stuff, I would want to update that and change it to version 8 like that. And let's let it load here. And so Unless you know what to look for, or you know what changes were made, you're not going to really notice any difference. Let's go back out, go to project, change project. And this is what it would look like if you didn't add a design at all. You would just see control points. And that's all the information you get. But you always you always want to add, um, or I, depend, I shouldn't say always, depending on what you're doing, you want to have a design there because if you were, if I was to do a topo here, I mean, I guess it's uh, depending on what you're doing, it's going to calculate it as a stockpile because it doesn't have any design to reference off of. If you have a design in there, then you could tell that you know when you do that topo when you when you're finished with your topo and you went over to review and edit data, um, you would select that topo that you did, and then it's going to tell you to that you. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to uh, measure it to like the design or inner elevation or such. And if you don't have a design in here, it'll it'll tell you basically it doesn't have anything to measure it to. So, okay, um, yeah, I'm going to just jump around and make some random videos of different things that I think are either fun to do. I mean, I spend a lot of time just messing around with this at home on the simulators and things like that. It's kind of interesting. I figure out new stuff all the time. Like I said before, <clears throat> I didn't have really very much training in the beginning. I was basically taught how to shoot a point, elevate a point, draw a line to that point, and how to do a topo. And that was, that was it. And so I've just, by poking around and spending time after work, I've learned so much more. Um, you know how these features work and stuff like that, and that I find them a lot. They're they're pretty interesting to me anyway. So um, that being said, these videos are probably not going to be real exciting. I'm not going to do any editing. I don't think I. They're just gonna. I'm gonna, I'm using a screen uh, screen recorder, and yeah, no fancy intros or outros or whatever you want to call them. Um, they are what they are. So. If you uh, if you get anything out of these videos, that's that's that would be cool. If you learn some stuff out of them, if not, there's no re no, no real need to bash on them. So I don't appreciate any negative comments. But if you do have any helpful comments, you know any things that that can help somebody out or help me out or figure out how to do something on here, I'd be more than happy to. Um, look at what you have to say and, and see if I can figure out how to do it, you know.
So that'd be cool. All right, let's let's end it end it here and go out.